day I first bought the car, uh, I picked it up on a Friday night and uh, started driving around town, showing it off to all my friends, well, local pubs and wherever else, and uh, just kept expanding my ride. And before I knew it, I was in New Jersey and up in Connecticut, went back to my college in Massachusetts. Uh, by the time I got through, I had put 1,500 miles on it. I've been driving all weekend, and that was the beginning. Oh, when I first bought the car uh, in 1966, um, I, uh, I remember I was uh, just hoping to have an automobile that would get me to and from work every day without constantly breaking down, like the last two GM cars that I had purchased. I was very happy when I uh, figured, hmm, I finally got a quality car that's uh, going to be reliable and dependable, and well, I'm still driving it today, so obviously it's been reliable and dependable. It was the best buy I ever made. I can give you three million reasons why you should buy a Volvo. After all, I've got uh, three million reasons right on this car alone. They're just terrific, you know, and there's uh, just uh, so much you can depend on, and they're reliable, and they're comfortable, and they do everything well. Uh, I mean, to me, they're the ultimate automobile. Uh, you know, it's funny when I uh, drive around the U.S. and uh, take the time to stop uh, for a cup of coffee or whatever, and nobody recognizes me, but they recognize the car. Uh, and it's, it's fun. It's a, it's a great way to meet people. It's a great way to introduce yourself, and uh, you make a lot of, lot of friends, uh, you know, no matter where you travel. And it's been a wonderful experience. You're, uh, you only get a chance to go around once, and uh, you might as well see all you can while you're here. So I uh, try to make it a habit to, uh, to see as much of the country as I can when I'm out traveling.